What's going on, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews, and this device in front of me is the Magic Keyboard. Now, this is the 2020 Magic Keyboard. I bought it when it first came out, and that's my iPad, of course. Now, so today, all we wanna talk about is, is the Magic Keyboard still worth it? So let's go. So it's now 2022 or the end of 2022 going into 23 and this is it. I've had this magic keyboard almost three years. Now, off bat, this device is gonna cost you 350 bucks. Now, I have never seen one on sale and maybe Apple has put one on sale like a year or so ago or you know, sometime around the holiday season, but I've never seen this go on sale. With that being said, I've had this one for almost three years. Yes, count it, almost three years. So that's almost a hundred or so dollars a year that I've spent on this device. And this was a great investment. Now I will tell you, there is no shortcut row on this device. And there is a new generation of this out right now. If you go on Apple's website, I think it says either fifth or sixth generation. I'm not quite sure right now. We've had so many iterations, but it is the same as the 2020 version. There's still no shortcut roll. You still get the full QWERTY keyboard. You still get the trackpad, but there, that is it. You will also still get the charging port over here, which I have seldom used. Now, charging port does come in handy because let's say you're on here and this is powered, the keyboard, and you notice the lights came on. The keyboard is powered by the three pin connector and you'll see the lights come on as you plug it up. Now, if you need to plug it up and charge, you can charge your iPad through this port over here via USB type C, but it is quite slow on the charge. The only reason you would need to do that is if you had a device such as this, this is an Apple watch charger. It's from the company Satechi. And let's say you want to charge your Apple watch on the go. Plug that in, plug your Apple watch up, and there you go, you got charge on the go. Now you can also use different types of peripherals while you are charging this, but I've never, like I said, I probably used this slot over here maybe 10 times, maybe 10 times in almost three years. So that tells you how much it is useful, but it does come in handy. It frees up this port over here by charging through this port down here. Now this has been a very durable device over the time, as you can see, the hinge is still like it's, this has to be one of the best hinges on a device ever. This thing is like day one when I bought it. Still holds about any angle that you put it at. I've never had an issue with it slouching down. I do have a few little abrasions, little nicks and scrapes and stuff and definitely some fingerprints, but for the most part, it's held up and it has withstood the test of time. Now there is microfiber back here. This has not worn off. The mark that I have from the microfiber is from this thing back here. This is a magnet that goes for another case, but it still allows you to use your iPad with this whole setup. As mentioned, the angles, like still as strong as day one, never had an issue. Now I said you're going to spend 350 bucks for this keyboard. It does come in two colors, this color right here, as well as the white. I have a white one as well. White actually has also withstood the test of time. If you wanna know more about that white one and how it has held up, I, I got a video on it. I'll put a thumbnail somewhere close by <laughs> so you can see it. And I'll also drop a link below so you can go and check that out. But once again, if you're hesitant about pulling the trigger on a Magic Keyboard, go ahead and do it. It's a great investment. It's something that you can use over years and years and years. And I've used this with multiple versions of the iPad, had no issues, and I've enjoyed every minute of using it. Very versatile, allows you to take this just about anywhere, have no issues. I've taken this to work every single day. Just drop the whole thing down in my bag. Only problem is, 
you can't carry that pencil out there. It will pop off. So that is the only issue. I normally put my pencil in a separate pouch or I carry a pencil like this that's already in another bag. It does not attach magnetically. This is from the company Logitech and it's just a regular stylus, but it does a lot and it won't wake that up. <laughs> it does a lot of different things. Let's get this open. Let's swipe up and there we go. So it does a lot of different things for your device and it allows you to be as creative as the Apple Pencil would. Does everything except pressure sensitivity, but everything else is on board. So you can carry one of those. You can get you an official Apple Pencil, whichever one floats your boat and whichever one you like and whichever one you want to spend the amount of money on. But like I said, no issue with the Magic Keyboard that I found. It's a great investment and I think it is definitely still worth purchasing. And hopefully this year we will get an upgrade. We'll get a shortcut row. I'm really looking forward to that. Because let's be honest, this is only missing the shortcut row. Has everything else, has the backlight, you can control the lights through the iPad itself. So it has everything that you would need except that full shortcut row. So hopefully Apple will do that for us this year. We'll get that shortcut row. It'll probably be a new iPad just came out, so I'm not sure if one will come out next year, but it's magical. There we go. Magic Keyboard 20, this is the 2020. Magic Keyboard. Like I said, it works with all the other versions of the iPad and they are all interchangeable, so don't worry about it. Has held up, has withstood the test of time, and is one of my favorite uh, accessories for this device. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. I'll be sure and drop a link below, but you know where you can pick this up at. And until next time, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.